like two eyes, two eyes, two eyes. I gotta figure out what that two. Oh, ha ha. This is the second act, act two, two, ooh. Baby, yes, okay, okay, she ate that. <laughs> Come on. Olivia, Janae, roll it. No one calls me that. Hey, give us Tony Braxton vibrato. This song is a bop to Ha! So, of course, Chloe and Halle Bailey <laughs> are gonna get visuals because, duh, it makes no sense. Look at the material. I'm living for the aesthetics. And Cowboy Carter track list is alive. It is up. We have it. And yeah, it is here. We are two days away from Beyonce's new album, Cowboy Carter. I will be here on Friday with a review of the album with a couple of my friends. Yes, we have some guests. So stay tuned for that. I'm definitely excited to sit with my friends and chat about the new music, which we do in real life. But I was like, let's bring it to the YouTube so yes but today's video we have the track list for Cowboy Carter in 2022 when Renaissance came out I did a track list review and I like predicted what I thought the songs was gonna be about so I was like all right let's do that again and let's go through the track list and let me predict what I think the songs are gonna be about so <laughs> without further ado let's get into the video all right y'all so the track list, Beyonce posted this post about four hours ago. It says Cowboy Carter, March 29th, and the Rodeo Chitlin Circuit, which eats down. Like, she is so powerful, so good at like her promotion and things that she releases and things that she, things that she puts her name on, because this is definitely a design for, inspired by the Chitlin Circuit, which was, if you don't know, the Chinlin Circuit was a series of venues that allowed black musicians to perform during segregation, you know, the Jim Crow era. So the fact that she like used that, I was just like, wow, so powerful, so good to even come up with that and put that together. And of course, with this being a country album, <laughs> and her not being like accepted and not feeling accepted back in 2016 when she performed at the CMAs and to do that and now her putting out this country album and the connection is so good like I love her this is why I stand I stand that's my girl down I don't care what nobody says and then at the bottom of the poster it says Brought to you by Country Radio Texas. Like, I live, because we went from country news to country radio, and it's felt like the same way with the R just added. Baby. We love a good transition, and like I said in my previous Cowboy Carter video where I talked about the album artwork, I will link it up here in the cards, I said visuals and everything is gonna be one multiverse, and we're just gonna go through it. So seeing that just proves my point. All right, so let's get into the track list. As you guys can see, the track list, it is in red, white, and blue, of course, playing on the, of course, the American flag, red, white, and blue. The album artwork, she is, she has red, white, and blue for the uh, Cowboy Carter sign. She's on the horse, we already know. And of course, she's gonna continue with the red, white, and blue. But yeah, so we have, first things first, American Requiem. And I'm not gonna be naive to think that she's about to, cause obviously in Renaissance, she had a song called America's Got a Problem. And we thought she was about to read America Fulfilled, but she was just saying that she's a bad bitch. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be naive to think she's about to read America, but we never know. And the definition of a requiem is a mass for the souls of the dead. Also a musical composition of a requiem mass. So it could be very spiritual. It could be definitely reading America Fulfilled could be talking about, like I said, the dead souls. So it could be that. <laughs> One thing I did read, which would be 
fire is if the starting of the first song on Cowboy Carter is a transition from Summer Renaissance. They said Summer Renaissance transitioning to the first song on Cowboy Carter. That would eat and I would scream. I saw someone tweet that and I literally would scream. That would be so fire. And next we have Blackbird. Bird has two eyes, you know, one, 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 one angel numbers. <laughs> next we have 16 Carriages, which we know it is a bop that was her first single that she dropped, 16 carriages dropping away. Talking about the 16 carriages when she came into the industry, her making the money, her sacrificing her, you know, teenagehood for being in the group and on the back of the bus with the bunk with the band. <laughs> 16 carriages is about a beautiful song. So yeah, we know 16 carriages. And then next we have Protector. And what I like about the poster, of course, like I said, is like Chitlin Circuit inspired design. I love that she has like the photos in between of herself, like her head bobbling in between and then one like with her body, her with the, the accordion and the fur with the hat and the cowboy hats and the boots. Like I think that's super, super cute. And I want this photo right here. This photo right here under flamenco. I need this photo, I need to see that up close. But yeah, next we have Protector. I feel like Protector is gonna talk about like it sounds, what she feels protected around, who's protecting her, who is having her back, who's watching her, who's being on her side. My Protector. My Protector. <laughs> I hear a whole country beat and rhythm in my head right now. <laughs> but yes, after my protect, after protector, we have my rose. If we go from my protector, if we go from protector to my rose, then she's definitely talking about someone, a love, something. My protector, then to my rose, or it could be her child, my rose. And then next we have Smoke Hour, and underneath it says Willie Nelson. So which means she probably has Willie Nelson on the album, and that is iconic in itself. And then underneath I see Dolly P. So it's looking like she gonna have Willie Nelson and Dolly Parton on the album, and that is so iconic. And the fact that she has Dolly P next to Jolene, she's about to sample Jolene which dolly already kind of like said the surprise because <laughs> she definitely said it like about two weeks ago so we kind of knew but it's still exciting and for her to sample jolene which is a bop like first of all dolly is a talented musician talented so talented songwriter and jolene is a bop so beyonce sampling jolene and i hope she like the switch up like of course, you're gonna sample it a little bit, but the switch up, I just hope it gives like ratch. I don't know, I wanted to give ratchita. Like, <laughs> very ratchet country shit. Like, I want her to be like, yeah, I'll bust Jolene down in the back, and then I'm going to stoop and smoke some crack. Like, something. <laughs> Y'all, I play entirely too much, but I want some shit. Like, fuck Jolene, like, some shit, but. It's still iconic, iconic. Willie Nelson, Dolly Parton won the album. We stand, we stand. Next we have Texas Hold'em, which we know, another one of the singles that she released with 16 Carriages. 16 Carriages, can't speak. Ain't no Texas, ain't no Hold'em. Lay your cards down, 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 down. So park your Lexus, ah, throw your keys up. They go round, 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 round. That song is a bop. Like, I just, I be on the train, like, like I got a, an imaginary banjo playing like that. It's really <laughs> a bop. And I hope, like, there's a dance. I need a dance. I feel like it needs to be some type of, like, hold down, throw down Molly Cyrus type of shit. Like, a line dance somewhere in a barn, you know? Yeah, yeah. Texas Hold'em is that girl. 
and then we have bodyguard and you know my minds because i am the pun girl i am the girl that has a lot of facts and things on my mind and things that you know just on my mind i see bodyguard then i see dolly p and i see jolene and i'm put bodyguard dolly p i will always love you whitney houston the bodyguard <laughs> bodyguard dolly p that's the first thing that popped to my head but that's just me that has nothing to do with anything but that's just the first thing that popped in my head bodyguard we get in a song about julius v <laughs> Girl, you know Julius is that guy and the girls and the guys be yelling and screaming his name out like he has fans Like I will never forget on the Renaissance tour when they was literally yelling for Julius and Beyonce was like Bitch what? Y'all yelling for Julius? <laughs> so, tea honey tea And then I see at the end after Jolene we have daughter Daughter so we have a song about the bodyguard. We have a song about Blue and Rumi. Daughter. My daughters, all right? Then we have Spaghetti. And again, with two eyes. My girl has been putting everything with the two eyes. See, American Requiem. The American has two eyes. Blackbird, two eyes. Then we have Spaghetti, two eyes. She said, I got my eyes on you. Two of my eyes on you, America. Like, that's what it's got. I got my eyes on y'all. Like two eyes, two eyes, two eyes. I gotta figure out what that two. Oh, ha ha. This is the second act. Act two, two. Ooh, baby. Yes. Okay. Okay. She ate that. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Skeddy straps. <laughs> Make sure you have on those. Spaghetti straps. I don't know what spaghetti's giving, but I hope spaghetti spaghetti gives. Like, I feel like it's about to be a bop. I don't know. Something in me is telling me spaghetti's about to be that girl. <laughs> we'll see y'all Friday. We got alligator tears, baby. Not crocodile. She said, you know, crocodile tears. We got alligator tears. That means it's more dangerous. Is a is an alligator more dangerous than a crocodile? Let's see. <laughs> Is an alligator more dangerous than a crocodile? Typically, crocodiles are more dangerous than alligators, which makes crocodiles more dangerous. Okay, so crocodiles are more dangerous than alligators. So, which means alligator tears is less heavy than crocodile tears. <laughs> That's what I get. All right, smoke hour two. So we have smoke hour with Willie Nelson, and we have smoke hour two. So it's like a follow-up. And then we have Just For Fun. Girls just wanna have fun, honey. Two Most Wanted. I hope this is Teacher and Jay-Z that would eat. Cause you know, they love to play on the on the run, Bonnie and Clyde, Most Wanted whole thing. So that would be cool if they on, if Jay's on the track, Most Wanted. We'll see, we'll see. Then we have Levi's jeans, again with the Levi's with two eyes. I saw Levi's all up and through her comments. Even before the track list was released, Levi's was in the comments. So do we have a Levi deal coming, B? Mark my words, y'all. Set it here first. March 27th, 2024. Beyonce might have a Levi's deal coming. Next we have Flamenco. Like I said, I want that photo. That photo underneath. I need that photo up close. And then we have the Linda Martell show. So Linda Martell is the first commercially successful black female artist in country music. So she's paying homage to Linda Martell, which that is fire. I love to see it. And like I said in my last Cowboy Carter video, Beyonce is, you know, paying homage to the people of color in the in all music genres but specifically saying we're taking back the music that we created so i love that she's paying homage to the girls that came before her then we have yaya i know that's usually like what's that like your grandma she's talking about her grandma i don't know we got a Louisiana, a Texas Bama mama, Louisiana. <laughs> I better see Miss Tina up and through 
that video, okay? I better hear a voiceover from Miss Tina on that one. And then we have Desert Eagle. We have River Dance. I better see a River Dance up and through, okay? And I'm, I'm guessing this song is gonna be upbeat. And it's literally gonna have the girls dancing. We have Two Hands to Heaven. That song is gonna eat. I fear that song is going to eat. Two Hands to Heaven. Two Hands to Heaven. Jesus hooked down on me. Like some kind of like very <laughs> like heaven from the from self title like very powerful very impactful two hands to heaven that's that's gonna be a bop that's gonna be a bop then we have tyrant ooh that song is gonna be badass I can really feel it a tyrant very cunty we got sweet honey bucking ooh that's gonna be cunty too. And then, last but not least, we have Amen. That should end the album. I hope this is an indication of how like the album is gonna go in order. Amen. Ending the album would eat. Amen. Cause you know how you end a prayer. Amen. How you end the album? Amen. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Beyonce. Amen. We got Cowboy Cardi, y'all. March 29th in two days. That is the track list. Let me know down below what you guys think. Do you guys agree with my predictions? <laughs> Not agree with my predictions? Comment down below. Let me know. Like I said, I will be here Friday night. Probably Saturday morning. I'll say Friday night into Saturday morning. Because, you know, I got to be up editing, all that. And like I said, I'm having my friends over. So it's going to possibly be a lot of editing because we're going to be talking. <laughs> I'll see you guys Friday for the Cowboy Carter album review. Like I said, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel to see more. Follow me on my social medias. Like the video. Share the video if you would like. And I would see you guys in the next one. Go check out my previous videos. Peace. Love.